Let's solve one previous question of mathematical logic. This question was asked in Gate CS 2016 set 2 question number 1. Consider the following expression. 1 is false, 2 is Q, 3 is true, 4th one is P or Q, 5th one is negation Q or P. The number of expressions given above that are logically implied by P and P implies Q is dash. So it is asking how many expressions from this can be implied by this means P and P implies Q whole implies which will be true. Let me first simplify this you can also do without simplifying like P and P implies Q so this P implies Q you can write negation P or Q now we will apply the distributive law so P and negation P then P and Q. So P and negation P is false. Then P and Q false or P and Q. X or false will be X. In case of or if both are false it will be false rest it will be true. So if X is true it will be true. If X is false false or false it will be false. So it's same as X value that's why you can write P and Q. Let me consider P and Q equals to X. Even you can consider this whole as X. I just simplified. You don't need to simplify. You can consider P and P implies Q as X. We have two propositional variable P and Q. So there will be four rows. Two part to four rows. For P will take truth value true, true, false, false. For Q true, false, true, false. Now P and Q or we can say P and P implies Q. This we simplified and we got P and Q. In case of and, true, true is true, rest it is false. So true and true it will be true, rest it is false. Now we will check each option. First one is false. So we will find P and Q implies false or P and P implies Q whole implies false that is x so you can write x implies false now true implies false it will be false then false implies false it is true so first one will false rest are true next option 2 is q so x implies q x is this true implies true it will be true then false implies false true false implies true true false implies false true so x implies q will be tautology next option 3 true so x implies true now true implies true it will be true then false implies true it will be true so it will be a tautology next option 4 p or q so first we will find p or q then we will find P and Q implied P or Q. In case of or, false or false will be false, rest it will be true. Next we will find X implied P or Q. P and Q implied P or Q. True implies true, it's true. Then false implies true, true. False implies true, true. False implies false, true. It's a tautology. Next, we will find negation Q or P. Let me write negation Q here, side of Q. So, true negation will be false, false negation will be true, true negation will be false, false negation will be true. Now, P or negation Q. Here, this will be false, false or false, it will be false, rest it will be true. Next, we will find X implied negation Q or P. So true implies true, it will be true. False implies true, it will be true. Then false implies false, it will be true. Then false implies true, it will be true. It's a tautology. Now we found option 2, it's Q. Then option 3, true. Then option 4, P or Q. Option 5, negation Q or P. Expressions are logically implied by P and P implied Q. So answer will be 4. 
four expressions are logically implied by this p and p implied q logically implied by means this imply any of the option which is tautology so this imply option 2 3 4 5 are tautology only option 1 is not tautology here it's not a tautology answer will be 4 I already discussed propositional logic just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you bye bye